Hello, Rob. This is Luana, and this is Tuesday with Lou, and we are on day forty. What day? Three. Forty-three. Yeah, we're on day forty-three of the hundred day challenge, and we are in my kitchen because I'm still on my kelp crusade. These are. These are called sea tangles. These are kelp noodles. Okay, I reckon these get a bit of a bad rap. So, people talk about them being a bit too crunchy and um, they don't taste very good, but I reckon I've come up with a bit of a solution. I can make them not so crunchy. And I think what we have, what we make, it's like a stir fry sort of gingery chili so I thought I would show you what we do with our kelp noodles tonight for dinner okay so have a look down here this is what I did earlier in here is the kelp noodles can you see the color I have been marinating these for about 15 minutes in here is warm water a lemon and Oh, this is soy. And, you know, I don't know. I put, I don't, I'm not really big on um, measurements. So I just put like, I don't know, like <laughs> that much in. And the lemon, I think I probably put a whole lemon in. And it just seems to, it doesn't make them um, crunchy. They're now stopping. we have the noodles marinating. What we have done is chop up. Let me see if you can see. This is carrot, so I've got one carrot really thinly sliced. Then I've got zucchini really thinly sliced. Then I've got cabbage. And some red capsicum. And it doesn't matter how much, this is for two of us, so. Um, we just do as much as you need. It's like a stir fry. Um, some baby spinach, like sliced up, chopped up really thin, shredded. And spring onions. And carrot, and then we're back to the beginning. So, a bowl full of veggies. It doesn't matter what veggies. And then I'm going to marinate these too. And what I'm going to marinate these in, I'm going to put some ginger in. Oh, also, yeah, I'll tell you about that in a minute. A lemon. I'm going to put a lemon in. I'm going to put some garlic in. I'm going to put some shoyu again. Agar, just a little bit, like maybe. Here are my mung bean sprouts. And I've, I, can someone tell me why do we take the green shell off? Someone told me I had to, so. That's what I've done. I've taken, I've deshelled them all. So I'm just going to tip these all together into a bowl. So these are ready for mar the marinade. That I I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so we are going to make the marinade. I have two garlic cloves. So I'm just going to use the garlic press to put those in or the mincer, or whatever they call it. So two garlic. Two garlic in, because we like it really garlicky. But you know what? This is not really a recipe. You can just add your own what, what tastes is good for you. I've also put, already put the ginger in, and I used, what are these? What are these called? Garlic press. garlic press. And I used uh, the garlic press to put the ginger in so it was nice and fine. Okay, that's that. Now I'm going to put, this is juice of one lemon. It goes in. This is Nana Soyu. I don't ever do measurements, but I will for you. One, two, three, maybe four. I don't know. I 
let's check it. You never do measurements. Okay, four. Four tablespoons. I'm going to put some salt in. A um, pinch or two of salt. Um, and... I reckon I'm going to do two. Two tablespoons. Just check the taste of it afterwards if it's not right. It's just what you like. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to leave this for 15 minutes. So this will... And I keep coming back and I stir it in those 15 minutes. I'm got, I've got chilli flakes, but I'm not going to put those into the end because... They get a bit hot. So if you like it really hot, put it in the beginning. So I'm just going to leave this to marinate. And the kelp will have been marinating for half an hour, so they will be really um, soft by the time the, those noodles are done. And this will also start to marinate and become a lot softer. So we'll be back in... 15 minutes. Okay, it's been about 8 minutes and you can see it's starting to get a bit more marinated and a bit more it's just a bit more soaked so what I'm going to put in now is some chilli not too much because I'll get in trouble <laughs> and cilantro or um, coriander we call it coriander here so that goes in and that I'm just going to let that sit for a bit longer maybe it should probably sit for about five more minutes if we can last that long see you in a sec okay we're ready for dinner because we are starving so did we wait that long well probably not but anyway you can here is the noodles I have just drained them they're pretty soft so in they go. You could mix these up in the salad. I don't. Okay, oh, veggie magic. Out. Okay, and it goes. Do you want juice or not? Yeah. you want. This is such a your own recipe. You like lots of veggies. And to top on the top of this is a variety of nuts that I've just put through the blender. So it makes it, makes it a bit like a um, pad thai, sort of. Sort of a and also put a bit of salt in the nuts because that's it. Have a look. That is... Should we do a taste test? Do you want to taste? You can taste test it. I'll hold it. Okay. Have a look. <laughs> Tell me what you think. Um. What do you reckon? This is my new best, bestest meal. Is it? This is like deluxe. This is restaurant style. You could serve this in your new restaurant. Oh, yeah. Your new raw food <laughs> restaurant. That so, should be opening up really soon. That's the verdict. Oh, yeah. So that's the verdict. The noodles can be softened, can't they? Oh, Are the noodles not, soft? They're so soft. Are they crunchy? It's like kelp. Mm. That's what probably not at all. Wants to know. No. What do they taste like? Um, gingery, garlicky, namashoyi. Just like, it's just like a pad thai. So, there you go. You have it. It's like a pad thai. Um, do I have anything else to say? Probably blessings to you all. I want to know below what is a recipe that's working for you at the moment. And, um, or maybe just what is working for you at the moment on these days. And we're still here, so that's it. <laughs> I'm going to go and eat because I'm starving. Blessings to you all and see you next Tuesday. Bye.